All right, let me interrupt myself for a second here. I didn't believe this was actually gonna work. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys, Jason, KM4ACK. In Middle Tennessee, there is a group of us trying to build out Meshtastic to cover more and more areas. And as part of that, I wanted to put up a relay node here at the house up above the chimney as far as I could possibly get it. So I reached out to the guys at Spec5 and asked them if I could check out their relay node. And let me tell you, I was impressed when I got this unit. It's driven by a rack wireless board powered with two 18650 batteries and includes a solar panel to keep it charged. Getting everything assembled was drop dead simple. The only things you need to do is attach the solar panel, attach the antenna, and connect the battery to the board itself. Now, one thing I will note here, just kind of some feedback for Spec 5. When I was mounting the solar panel, uh, after I tightened down the screws as much as possible, it was still a little bit loose. So what I did was I included a couple of washers underneath it to solve that problem. So I might have overlooked something in the packaging, but I could not find any washers and I wanted to make sure that solar panel was really tight so that it didn't move around during the uh, thunderstorms that we typically get here in the summertime. Now, I had planned to show the installation of this. Unfortunately, we were experiencing a heat wave here in Middle Tennessee while I was putting this up on the roof. So I didn't get any footage as the cameras were overheating, but it was really, really easy to do. And I put it on a new mast just below my primary two meter antenna. In the Meshtastic software, I only needed to make a couple of changes. I did change my Bluetooth pin code. Uh, when you get it, it's going to be 123456, if I remember right. And I changed that to something that only I would recognize. I left it in clamp mode, which is the way it comes out of the box. Since this is not a high-level node, I didn't use repeater or relay. Client should be sufficient. And then I changed all of the smaller nodes, like my Trekker Delta, to client mute. Hey, speaking of this, I was really, really shocked. Last week, we were out of town for seven entire days. I forgot this thing and left it powered on here at the house. And believe it or not, this thing was still running when I got back. So the battery life on the Delta is really, really incredible. Now back to the settings, the only other thing I changed was the long and short name, so it was something that I could identify. And guys, that was it. It was really that easy to get the relay node ready to go up on the mast. Now before I installed this thing, I was seeing exactly one other node. Well, I was actually seeing four, but they were all from the same guy, and he happens to live next door to me. So, But outside of his nodes, I was not seeing anything else in my node list. I am super stoked to report that after putting this up on the chimney at roughly 35-ish feet, I was seeing a lot more nodes in my node list. So going forward, uh, there's a few other planned nodes here in Middle Tennessee. One is going to be on a repeater that is only a few miles from me. And I'm hopeful that once that node is online, it's really going to start bridging the gap for those nodes that I can't quite see here in Middle Tennessee. As far as the range on my particular node, well, it's been pretty good. I've gotten up to a mile away with the Trekker Delta and still been able to run a trace route to my new relay node. All right, let me interrupt myself for a second here. I didn't believe this was actually going to work. I am currently about a mile. I'll put it on the screen uh, here as to the exact distance, but I'm roughly a mile away from my node. And guys, I'm going to show you how many trees and whatnot this signal is going to get through. But let's go ahead and run a trace route back to my relay node. And there you go, negative 10 and negative 14. So pretty good results. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull out here on the highway and I'm going to give you guys a look at how many trees and whatnot this had to go through. Guys, take a look at how many trees 
this is going through. I'm going to just film this for a second. There's some elevation change here. We're actually going downhill just a little bit right now. We're going to go back uphill here in just a second. I do have to watch out to uh, not run into somebody as I'm trying to film this. But guys, look at all of the trees that we're having to go through to get back to my relay node. This is pretty incredible. In fact, we're going to start going back uphill. So it had to get over this hill and through the trees to make this happen. So I'm really, really impressed with this relay node being up at about 35 feet. And I am pretty happy with those results. I'll leave links to the relay node and the Trekker Delta down in the description below if it's something you are interested in checking out, but I can highly recommend this relay node. If you want to follow along and get some little updates as we go, be sure to subscribe to the newsletter. I do a lot of updates in the newsletter that never make it here to YouTube. Guys, if you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you on the next one. Until then, 7-3.